everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. It's been a couple of weeks since I've recorded. Had a lot of stuff going on in real life. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but um, we are going to move forward with the series. So let's get into it. Now, I was moving to Trondheim as of the last episode, and we are here. It took a little while to get here. I think we took a couple of, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks. So it's, I took a couple of detours because we picked up some stuff along the way. I remember we picked up mortar ammo uh, because we're looking at getting some mortars running at some point. Uh, I think we've only got... Let's go to the um, mech bay here real quick. So I know we made a couple of changes to the mechs and I did pick up a couple of uh, targeting computers and stuff. I think I put one in the archer, if I'm not mistaken, because I want to run this guy today. I've, I've, You can see here I've kind of laid out the lances how I want them. Um, so I had the comp yeah, I got had, I picked up an advanced zoom mark two, which I put in there, which will basically negates the no visual, gives plus one accuracy up to, up to 810 meters. Since this guy's got like the light PPCs and the uh, LRM 20s, I think that's probably a, a pretty good um, uh, get for that guy. And then I think the Marauder. Now I'm gonna go into the Marauder because I did change the loadout in this guy. We were running two PPCs, two medium lasers, and an ultra five. And I completely changed the loadout. Um, I just wasn't happy with how it was working. And it's only because it's mostly engaging at long range. Because the thing is so damn slow, right? So I did manage to pick up an Advanced Optics 3. I don't know if it was a 3 or a 2. I think I, I, think I put the 2 into the Talos that I bought. And moved the 3 from the Talos into this one. So we've got really good um, targeting on this guy because we're going to need it because we've got two ER large lasers and the uh, and a Gauss rifle M9. Um, it's got extra range on it too, so which is good. Um, and then a Thunderbolt four pack to round it out. Two tons of Gauss ammo and an ECM uh, comm suite tracker sensors for that uh, good long range uh, targeting. We need to get a far control system predator for this, but didn't have one, so I decided to go with the flak instead. Uh, giving that bonus to critical hit, minus one recoil, which really doesn't matter with this loadout, but um, the plus one evasion pips ignored is also always nice. So that's what I did with this guy. The armor's not max on it. It's pretty close to max, but I mean, like I said, this guy's going to be back at a distance, so I, I don't expect him to be engaging too, too much um, up front and close, but um, certainly can do it if we need to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's the loadout on this guy. I th thought it worked out pretty well. Um... How's our heat efficiency actually? Because I remember we picked up. That's only if the thunderbolt's being fired. I think that's why I didn't put a. Uh, yeah. Because the thunderbolt's not fired all the time. It's fifteen heat, so that when it's not being fired, we're pretty good. Because we're only what over by seven, which isn't bad. And we got the remote sensors. Yeah, so that's that's probably the right way to go with this guy. Um. Because I do have a couple of exchangers right now. Um, I think I picked up a plus one exchanger and something else. I can't remember. Now, I think I... I don't remember what I changed. I don't think I changed too much. I think I, I, think I messed around with the, the bit of the rocket loadouts. Yeah, this guy... The Cephalus is still the same. The Jenner, I think, is still the same. I thought I made a change to another one of the mechs, but I can't remember what it is now. You're... On. The Griffin, I think, stayed the same. Um, yeah, you got the Rex, the SRM-6, heavy rocket launcher, two sixes, right. Um, Wolverine, I think, stayed the same. I don't think I touched that. Should still be the same. ER large, mediums and stuff. Tracker sensors, Holopolis, I don't think I changed. Just let me double check this guy. I think I was considering putting in the, um, yeah, it's still the same, the Ultra 2s and the LRMs. It's mostly for the AMS on this guy that I, I keep it in play. It's got an advanced zoom, Mark II, Thunderbolt 2-pack. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much the same. Now, I did pick up, I think I did pick up a few other things. I was looking at the, the weapons I have because I was considering what we're going to do with the Orions. Now, one of them is back. The other one is actually... Um, currently being repaired. It's like three more days till it's back. So if you have a look at this guy, there's some good possibilities with the Orion. Now, I've got a lot of weapons, but not a lot of ammo. Like I was, I was, I wanted to do an Ultra 20 build on this guy, but I don't have any Ultra 20 ammo because we got a Clan Ultra 20, but zero ammo for it. So that's an issue. 
Now, I could do an Ultra 5 Ultra, like this thing, with a, um, we got, if we drop a Clan XL, it's going to be pricey. If we drop a Clan XL in it, and then we drop in a big core, a 355 to give it some mobility, right? This says 4, 7, it's really like 5, 8 mobility. It's like right on the edge, but it's like 5, 8 mobility because it's giving me 5 bars here, right? So 5, 8 mobility, um, and then if we go, like that gives us like plenty of like, 30 tons to, to play around with. I was like messing around with a couple of ideas. One is like going an Ultra 10 LBX 10 build. And we could drop in a pair of medium lasers and a couple of rockets, uh, one shot rockets. So if we go to, um, so we don't need a ton of ammo for each of these because this has got like 20 rounds for the, for the caseless ammo for this, 10 rounds of cluster because we're not really going much beyond 10 turns right now anyway. Right, we could go a pair of ER mediums to keep the range up and then you know, for some nice close punch, a pair of rocket pack 20s. The alpha strike on this, if I was to fire everything, I think I worked it out to be like, was it 360, no, 460 damage, something like that, right? 60, 80, 180, 200, 220, and then 120 for each of these, which is 240, so 220, 240 is 460, right? That would, like, I mean, we're way overheat at this point, but we'd only be doing that once, we'd be firing it off once. Oops, where's the heat efficiency? Here we go. 84, we'd have a double heat sink kit in there. So we'd be over by 24 heat if we fired everything at the same time. But you could leave the two medium lasers off, right? Which is like, what, 20, they're each 20 heat a pop. Actually, that's going to be over by more because I don't think it calculates the double shot from this. It's 18, but it's more when you fire both. So, I mean, yeah, it's... That's a possibility... Uh, we couldn't up the armor anymore, but the armor's not bad. I don't have any endo steel, although I do have like I could drop Clan Pharaoh into uh, um, accommodate for the ammo on the one side, which would give us some weight, which means we could probably drop in a couple of double heat sinks if we wanted to drop some heat sinks in, you know, to uh, manage the heat if we were gonna like be firing off all the weapons at once, right? So that's a possibility. Um, this definitely lends itself to being like an auto cannon build. I mean, you know, you could go with a pair of Ultra 5s, but I've only got one ton of Ultra 5 ammo. So that's one of the other things I got to look for. Um, we're really limited on ammo. That's the one thing that we're getting killed by is ammo. Um, we got light Goss ammo. We got a couple of heavy Goss rifles. I noticed they added a chance to knock the mech over when firing certain weapons. The heavy gosses give you a 25% chance of being knocked over if you didn't brace the turn before and you move this turn. So if we were to move into a position and stand, right, without moving, it's still for recoil, but you don't, there's no chance of being knocked over when you're firing it. So I would think I would go with this one over this one. This one has gives you damage, damage fall off, but if we're going to be standing in the location, I want to be at range. I don't want to be in close, so 720 meters. That way there's no damage fall off. You're doing 150, but you're doing 150 at range, whereas this guy damage falls off, I think, to half. Yeah. So you're only doing, like, what, 80 damage at range. So you'd be better off using this guy. It weighs a little bit more, but it's still, you got that really heavy punch at the end. It's only, like, two tons more. But then we need heavy Goss ammo, and I don't have that. So, like, at least I'm pretty sure I don't. I didn't see it down here anywhere. I mean, we got hyper velocity auto cannon ammo, but it only got eight rounds. Yeah, we've got we've got mag shot ammo, but we need heavy gas ammo, which I don't think exists up there. And why some of these LRMs are up here, and then some of them are down further? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got we do have a, a um, some options now for the mortars. We got uh, six tons of mortar ammo, some fast gam, some flare, some smoke. If we want to get into it, and we got some arrow stuff here as well, which we can do. You know, that's the other thing, too, is we could go with a missile build with this guy. I did try and play around with... Uh, and I'm just doing this so you guys have an idea, because I'd like to get your uh, your thoughts on a build for this thing, because uh, it's going to be pricey, so it's going to be a one-time one, one -time deal. We build it, and that's what, it, what it's going to be. Um, but we do have... Down here, if we can find them, some Thunderbolt 20s, right? 
Now you could go out with a build like that. That's 240 damage, but it's like 120 pinpoint, which is nice, right? And then I know we do have ammo for that down here. I don't think we have a lot, though. I think there's like, what, three rounds each? Yeah. So we got, what, three, six, nine, and then 12, 18. That's nine turns of firing. And then TBM 20 Merv. So that's like 10 turns, 10 and a half turns of firing with all the ammo. And we're at max. So it's like really two Thunderbolt 20s. So, you know, as nice as it is, like you might want to go this route and go with one Thunderbolt 20. You know, move the ammo over to this torso. And then round it out with something else. Whether it's like we go with an LBX slash like a couple lasers like how much heat does this put out 24 this is like yeah nothing so 30 32 and then we could go with a couple of lasers to bring the heat up we got like a light ppc regular ppcs are too heavy plasma cannon but it doesn't really i mean it's got 720 range but then i mean we're mixing matching stuff at this point you know we could drop an ERPPC in I think we would rather a clan ERPPC or like once again we could put a couple of like ER mediums and then some rocket pack or a rocket pack I don't know like let me know what you guys think you can you can kind of see what I have here it's like a really mishmash of a lot of things you know the other thing too is we got a pair of mortar eights so we could go like we could go double oops uh, double mortar eight. Yeah, we're overweight now, but I mean, take off the Thunderbolt twenty, double double mortar eights, and then like maybe the T like a TBM ten or something. What would the arrow be? That's an interesting idea. This Thunderbolt is what twelve. Arrows like what fifteen? Yeah. So if we were to go that route, then I would make it slower. Right, we wouldn't need um, a big engine. I could go with a 250 core, so we don't have to add heat sinks. Then we got, you know, a little bit of room for ammo, but not much. So that would be it. This would just be it. Would just be an artillery platform at that point. You know, you'd be standing back firing continuously. Now the mortars. Each ton of mortar ammo for an eight is five shots because it's got 40 rounds. So that's five turns of firing. I'm just doing this for the sake of argument. Ten turns of firing. And then the arrow. Definitely want to have Inferno. How many rounds per? Is it five? Is it four? Five shots per. One, two and a half. Wait, where did the other one go? Did the guy did not get dropped in there? Requires an Artemis system. Okay. I think we do. I think we have got one here. Yeah, I do. Artemis 4. So we'd have to drop that in if we we're going to go with the guided ammo. The guided ammo is kind of nice because I believe it's if it's if you're firing direct fire, it's plus 2 accuracy. Yeah, plus 2 direct direct fire accuracy. Plus two accuracy with the weapon, so that's pretty devastating if you're shooting directly at somebody. You'd want to keep that at least five shots. So if somebody does appear, like in front of you, you can take a good shot at them and take a good chunk out of them. But then we would like, you know, it's it's weird because the arrow system you need the you like. Well, I mean, you could go with the out the Artemis and then go. This is just goofing around too. Indirect two plus three plus two indirect accuracy or plus three indirect accuracy. Right, we could pull out the, the Artemis and then pull out the guided ammo and just go all indirect. You know, and stick with Inferno and uh, fast cam. And then we would want to put like Inferno mortar ammo if we could get it. That's actually not a bad if I can get Inferno ammo for the uh, mortars. 
because I mean we do have we do have a little option not much but a little bit of an option so you know take a ton of this out maybe put in some flare to help help people target you know have a ton of fast cam um, you know I we need we'd need we would definitely need incendiary to make this really worth it the arrow and the two mortars all dropping incendiary I'd love to see how much heat that would output but that's some options now we do have two of these guys right we've got this we've got this Orion we got the second one coming as well so um, we've got a few options now we don't have a lot of internals gonna keep my eye open for uh, endo steel today if I can get it I mean, we do have a few fire control system options I want to get the command console into something I just don't know what I want to get it into yet but um, yeah I mean in this case you would probably go indirect accuracy and then, I mean, we could probably lower the armor a little bit if it's going to be standing behind stuff and just firing indirectly the entire time. Uh, we don't have much else. Powered sensors, maybe. But we definitely want to have some kind of ECM in here if we could get it. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Like, there's no point in continuing. But um, there's, we do have a few options. Um, the second Orion, I think the hard points are slightly different. This one's two laser, two ballistic, two missile, and I think this one is, yeah, one ballistic, three laser, and two missile. So it's a little bit different. Um, so this guy might be better going with, like, the Thunderbolt, or a Thunderbolt at least, and the other guy being the indirect guy. But I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I don't know yet. I'd like I like I would want to I want to make one of these guys like preferably this guy like an all ballistic build. If you can get an ultra twenty and an ultra ten in there and make it fast, like having that five eight movement, getting in close and hammering people with that thing would be just devastating. When I mean, we could max the armor out, we just need ammo. We definitely need ammo. I don't think did I check. I think I'm pretty sure I checked the store here when we got here, but there's not much. I'm, I'm babbling on. I'm sorry. This is the first time I recorded in a couple weeks, so it's a bit of a Bit of a mishmash. Let me just quickly go through here. I don't think I think I checked everything here. There wasn't a lot. Thermal Vision Mark III is not bad. That I would consider putting on a mech if we if we had the incendiary um, if we had the incendiary um, Orion running. I would definitely put this on like something you know something long range. But since we don't, it's not really that important. Um, Anyway, that's it for that. So let's have a quick look. I don't think I don't know if I checked the barracks or not. Let me just check that real quick here, just to see if our pilots have got any skills. I'm pretty sure I spent the points though. Um, yeah. So Griff, we're waiting. I think on gunnery or granite. Sorry, Griff. Um, I hear you. I think we're waiting on gunnery as well. Receiving you. Yeah, I think I spent the yes, points commander. here. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, commander. Lethal commander. Mothman prophecy. Um, I think I'm waiting on tactics for you. Either tactics or piloting, I can't remember. I'm so glad that they added the extra um, vehicle movement and stuff to like um, piloting, and then they added some stuff for for vehicle pilots under guts because it's it just it makes a lot of sense, right, with vehicle pilots to give them at least something that's worthwhile. Ready for orders. Okay, Sturm. I think I'm waiting on gunnery for you because you're the long range guy. Yes, come on, Taser then. face. I think I'm waiting for tactics for you. Receiving you. And Zephyr, I don't think I've spent the points on you. I think I don't can't remember why. I don't think we're. Why did I not spend the points on you? Oh, you're a Mac pilot. I haven't decided what you're going to be yet. That's right. That's why I didn't spend the points. All right, cool. So, um, I've been considering what we're going to be doing. I was just going to take some missions at four and a half skulls, but when I got here, there is. A flare-up. So Word of Blake has got um, 21 uh, offensive points, and rasselhag has got 15 in defense. And I think I'm going to take the defend planet mission because it is four skulls. It should give us the opportunity to at least try out some of our new mechs, uh, mixing and matching some stuff, and see how well we do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, because we were making a, a, a crap ton of sea bills. Like once I outfit the Orion, all our money's gone, right? So the last few times we've done this, we've made, you know, an obscene amount of money. So I'm going to go this route. Hopefully we get some good battles this time. I'm pretty sure we will. It's Word of Blake, so they should have, like, 
I believe it's like they've got five mechs per lance, or there could be six mechs per lance. But we're going to go this route, so let's go ahead and take it forward one day. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but uh, contract notification. Yep, let's launch the mission, find out what it is. Uh, shooting range, what? Keep the mech still. Oh, uh, this is an uh, event that came up at the same time. Ah, shit, if I set up the targeting range... There's an there's an option there's an opportunity for a mech warrior to get wounded I believe. But there's also I think there's a, a chance for the mech warrior to gain some skill. But I'm gonna deny the request because we need our pilots right now and if we lose one then it's gonna be an issue. So we're gonna go this route. Continue. No lasting consequences. Better safe than sorry. Um, okay, so <laughs> Operation Harsh Lumber, huh? Let's go two nine. Three and a half skulls. Okay. Um, we'll take that to urban environment. So this should be interesting. All right. What do we got here? So yeah. Anyway, I was. Uh, let's just get this started, and then we'll we'll talk. Um, okay. Let's bring down Talos and granite. So we've got the Wolverine and the Holopolis. I want to try and bring... Yeah, I think that's what we're, what my issue was. We we're lacking pilots. So we need pilots. Uh, I'd like to try out the Marauder. But I also want to bring the Archer because I want to test that out too. I think Sturm is probably the best pilot to test the Archer. So let's just test out the Archer this way. No, I want to bring the Mad Cat instead. And leave the Wolverine behind. The Wolverine's nice because it's tanky, right? Yeah, I know it's a medium mech, but we got that um, the ten percent arm like damage reduction on this thing and everything, so it's a little tanky, which is nice because it offsets the non-tankiness of the the three forward moving mechs here. But I think we're gonna go. It's the wrong skill because we got Phantom Mech on the on you. Hmm. Nope, let's leave it. I mean, I could bring Zephyr in in the, in the uh, Mad Cat, but I think we'll leave it. This brings us at three and a half. Uh, what's B? We got our full vehicle, Lance, though. You want to take everybody? Tell you what. Let's just... I'm interested to see what it's like. But let's swap these around because I know Sturm has got some um, skill in the Marauder already. Yeah, we got five, nine out of ten. We'll go that route just so that he's got some more skill in it. Okay, and uh, let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Fortune the enemy drop site. Does that look like reinforced concrete? I don't know. I'm really hoping they get some reinforcements out at three and a half skulls. Okay, they got one lance. Looks like that's it. Uh, let's not start too far away from them. Uh, let's not start in the power center either, because that would be bad. Okay, you're right there. Let's go here in the where we've got some space to maneuver. So, um, I was just about to say, oh, things seem a little smoother now, but. Then I get that chunky st <laughs> Uh why do I even bother? Uh, let's just drop right here. Good enough. So, I was planning on doing some recording last weekend. Uh, this is Friday night for me. I was planning on doing some recording last Sunday night. And I updated Rogue Tech because I hadn't updated it in quite a while. Downloaded the new launcher, got it all installed, and then it wouldn't launch. So I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Had this problem in the past. Gotta set it to run as an administrator. So I did that. Nope, wouldn't run. I'm like, what the fuck? It should be running. And then I'm like, I don't have any, you know, uh, any virus stuff set up that's going to be causing an issue. I don't know what the hell the problem is. And then, um, so they're going to move, I guess, first. Um, so yeah, then I just, it wouldn't work. So I think, okay, well, fuck, I'll just uninstall everything and reinstall it all. So it took me a couple nights to do that because I got other stuff that was going on. 
and uh, took took a couple nights to do that. Reinstalled everything. I actually installed the um, the um, the cache file on a different drive. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Yes, thank you for the reinforcements, baby. Extra salvage. That's all I see. Um, so yeah, I installed it on a separate drive. I'm hoping it will run a little smoother now. But um, so I had to submit a ticket on the Discord saying, "Hey, it's not fucking working." And they come back with, "Oh, you've it's uh, uh your system is denying the uh, the launcher the ability to run. Make sure you don't have antivirus uh, software like turned on, and you um make and have it run as an administrator." I'm like, "I already did that." Still causing a problem. So I'm like, I don't know what the hell to do. So finally I'm like, fuck it. I went to where the launcher is, like the actual icon is. Because I have it up in my taskbar, right? Just to launch. So I, I right clicked on it and said run as an administrator and it ran. And I'm like, wait, did I not tell it to run as an administrator? It went into the preferences. Nope, it's told to run as an administrator. So if you're if you're ever encountering that kind of problem, just right click, right click on the icon and select run as administrator and try it that way because that was the only thing that would work for me to get it to run so all right how do i want to handle these guys we want to fire down this is going to be blocking our line of sight although we could destroy this building and just fire straight down here now i fought in this spot before it's actually not too bad but it is a little restricting because of these buildings here or we could keep a little bit of a height advantage because this is a lip here and push down this way which I think what, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and sweep them from the right to the left. So let's go full speed. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. Roger that. I don't think we're going to fire at anybody though. What are we looking at for a chance to hit here with the thunderbolt? We only got 12 shots, so I want to. Yeah, it's not worth firing against the vehicle with two medium lasers. Fire starter. Okay, standard loadout. It's actually not a bad chance to hit though. 25 Wolverine Q, AC5 pair of sixes and three mediums. Is this the guy that's got the damage reduction armor? I think it might be. I can't remember. Munin Lamb? I think we've got parts for one of these guys. Large. So it doesn't look like they've got anything that's that advanced. Oh, there's a pair of Ultra 5s in this Blackjack. This is the Omni Jack, I guess. So we're going to see if we can get some salvage off that guy. That'd be nice. I'm not going to fire here, by the way. I'm just checking to see what they have. Vulcan, standard Vulcan. All right, well, nothing amazing. Nothing I have to worry about yet. At three and a half skulls, I was expecting a little more, but I'm glad they do have two lances. At least, hopefully, it's a full lance, not a uh, partial lance. We're in a vehicle over here. That's it. Okay. Wait, who is the... Oh, that was firing at me. Okay. I was like, I don't have an advanced AMS. Why is he... Oh, he's got the random... The quick sell random mine, sla mine layer shit. Yeah, okay. Awaiting orders. Uh, where do I want to set my heavies up? Just so I know where to move my lights to. I think we go... Let's stick to the plan. Let's just go this way. As far as we can go. Go into full throttle. Now, we've got tandem ammo, standard, and thunder. Artemis. Incendiary. We got okay, we got a fair bit of stuff. I know I should be shift clicking this, but I'm not. All right, we want the blackjack. Where are you? Here we go. Let's give this guy some love and thunder. If we can pull his legs, that would be good. What's this guy? Ooh, this guy's got a pair of TBM 10s. It's not a bad loadout. Handheld rack too. Is that the Omni version? The oh, is, the, is that the Omni version? I think it is. That's the blackjack I see. Let's just get up to here. This puts us in striking distance of their uh, their front line there. So if this gets a little laggy, ooh, 
What do we got here? Stormcrow. Oh, that's interesting. That's a bad loadout. For me, that is. Roll to that. At least we got the tag on. Stormcrow G. G for Gauss. I hear ya. G for G Wiz. That guy's gonna kill us. Let's get behind here. Double time. Puts us in striking distance. Keeps us out of harm's way. Um. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Griff. Um, same idea. Since I don't think we're going to have much opportunity to fire this thumper, pedal to the metal. I think we're going to fire it now. Um, who do we want to land it on, though? Wolverine. Stag. No idea what that guy's got. Vulcan. Archer. They don't have grouping here anywhere, do they? Not really. I'm going to put it up front here. Maybe we get a, a little bit of splash. See what happens. Right, Commander. AC-10 ammo bin is Yeah. We got some damage in the fire start. It's fine. I was hoping to splash that Stormcrow a bit, but... I'm your Spaniel. No biggie. Okay, I need you up front because I want this guy to be shooting at you. So let's get up here. I want him to shoot at you for the first turn if we can get him to do that. I don't know if we can, though. Uh, I better switch these out. Shift, click. There we go. See, learning. Waiting for order. I'm learning. Now let's get you up here. Spread out a little bit. Nope, we're gonna go through thunder there. Let's not do that. Let's just get to here then. Double time. Let's go. Double time. Let's go. Keep this guy under fire. Maybe we can push him back a little bit. Let's go with the ER, fine. Just gotta hit him. Copy that. Nothing. Maybe we can no get him choice. to back up. I don't know. What's up, boss? Just want him to back up for one turn, you know? Uh, let's not get you too close. Can we get you over here without actually going through the thunder? That's a direct line of sight, but that puts a shot. Ah, fuck. Right by the Cephalus. Let's not do it. You know my luck. I'll put one right in the back of the Cephalus. And then it'll be out for the battle because I won't be able to move in with it. Um, sure, take a pot shot. Locking on target. The more we put him under fire, hopefully the more he'll back up. Damn it. That's right. That's all right. Although that, that Stormcrow pod's good. Aye, aye. He's probably got fire and maneuver. All right, now... How far can you go? Actually, not bad. I mean, I get, we should be thankful we're on a city map because it's Copy got that. nice, some nice flat terrain we can move on. So this guy should be able to keep up with us. Um, I'm not going to one-shot that. It's a waste of ammo. And now we've got the Ultra 20. What? No. That guy is going to shoot for you. That's our... Oh, yeah, we have to wait this thing... This thing goes slow in that first turn, but then it just picks up speed. I'm gonna put you. Let's not put you there because it puts you in the way. Let's put you here. Going as fast as I can. All right. Well, there's our first turn. Oh, looks like we got some good initiative this turn. Some of them went up in, in speed. This guy's fast as hell, though, eh? He's fast as hell, and he's not going to take it. Who's first, though? This guy? Stag? I'm guessing. We got two here. What do we got? Well, that's the lamb. Oh, the lamb's probably going first. That's why it's taking so long. It's figuring out what the hell to do. Nope. Preda. Okay. This guy's what, 25 tons? No, it's gotta be more than that. 40 probably? 55? Shit, I don't know. 24, that's probably the lamb now. 
So they do have six per, so it's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, they got twelve. I don't think I've seen the last guy though. There's one other guy somewhere. Alright, this should be a good fight. What's the Vulcan jumping? If we can't get a shot with the Marauder on anything else, I'll shoot that building up from underneath that guy. We should have a half decent chance to hit him that building, probably like 65 or 70 percent at that range. Come on, you bastards. That was what, 23? No, 24. Oh. Stormcrow's decided to sacrifice himself. Where are you going? Oh, he's going on a flanking maneuver. I don't think I got enough... Well, I might have enough resolve for a... Um, yeah, maybe. I was just thinking we could use the Cephalus to do a backstrike. I don't think it'll do enough damage, though. This thing's probably got like 40 armor or more in the back. 45, 50. Yeah, we'd have to do both the Rattlesnake and the Cephalus to do a good dam amount of damage to his back. We definitely need to get a couple of engine crits on him if we were going to do that. Because if we don't crit his engine, then he's firing everything. Well, he's probably going to fire everything anyway. But if he fires all his lasers, he'll melt himself, so. Who's going? 21. Somebody back here, maybe this guy? Nope, Munin. Okay, finally. Yeah, I don't know. Lambs, I kind of like them, but unless they're flying all the time... I like the old lambs where they it was basically jumping across the map and gaining the evasion because it gave you the feeling like they were actually like transforming and flying and shooting at you whereas now it's like most of the time they're on the ground and sometimes they're hovering it just doesn't feel like they're real lambs you know it's like why not just have a regular mech and, and have a helicopter or, or a VTOL or something separate right there's no point in having that lamb yep I'm talking about game perspective. Like, in reality, it would be different, but in game perspective, it just doesn't feel like it's doing what it should be doing. All right, Griff, let's uh, get on the Stormcrow. It's the real threat at the moment. I think it's the only threat right, right now on the map board. Firestarter could overheat somebody, but this guy's the threat. All right, that's lousy chances to hit, but we're going to take them. MRM's up at the top first. Come on. Let's drop the Thunderbolt down below the SRM-4s to hopefully hide it be for AMS. If he's got it, I doubt he does. I oh, might. Um, yeah, let's just go for him. Okay, one of the one of the auto cannons hit. That's it. Nothing big. At least he's standing in fire. A little bit of acid. A little bit of acid never hurt me. Hurt them, though. <laughs> ah, that was a bad joke. Wasn't even a joke. It's one of those old-timey dad things that some old-timey dad would say that just doesn't... has no... Um, uh, okay, I'm giving up at this point. I'm not even going to talk. <laughs> uh, it's been so long since I've recorded. Whew, this battle is actually taking a lot longer than I expected. I may have to move that cab file back to the internal. I got three drives, so I'm, I'm running most of the... I'm running uh, both Battletech and um, Seven Days to Die off my internal. Uh, but both of them with the mods... Like, I don't have a large internal. It's only like 240 gigs or something. But it fills my internal up most of the time with, with the Rogue Tech um, cache file in there. It fills my uh, hard drive up pretty bad so um, he got away from my thunder so I had to like move some stuff so I mean I don't know it's, it seems to run fluid enough it's running a little slow for me but maybe it's just because I haven't played in a while all right now um, I want to vigilance and vigilance this and go after that guy or do I want to just Try something. I'm gonna. You know what? We have anybody going over here, and we don't. Uh, I'm gonna reserve. Waiting for my opening. 
It's going to push our initiative back, but I want to see how our other guys do against the Stormcrow before I decide what my next maneuver is. The Blackjack, I should shoot this building out from underneath him. I should have fired for this. With the one shot. Oh well. A couple Thunderbolts incoming. Alright. Looks like you got some high explosive that I like to have. I keep saying I want to get some high explosive from my TBM-10 and the uh, Talos. Haven't been able to find it yet, but maybe we have some right there. So I think if anything, Stormcrow parts are definite and the Blackjack um, Ultra 5s and the Archer parts. TBM stuff is nice, but if we can get Archer parts, that'd be nice to be able to put together an Omni Archer. That's interesting. Monsieur Le Hetzer. Okay, Killjoy. Um, let's get this thing into play. Let's not go through the flames and let's not shoot where I'm going to shoot my own guy in the back, probably. Let's get up here. We got some good armor, so I'm not worried about being seen by those other guys. Plus, we haven't been hit yet, so I think we're okay. Now, we could go after the building, but I, th I still think we need to do this guy here. Oof. Um, switch to Artemis. Combat shotgun up. Yeah, we're a little close, but I think we'll be fine. Sure. Alright. He knows we're here. We're coming for you. Didn't do a lot of damage, but... Ooh, not bad. That's actually a lot of leg damage. I wonder if we can get a pinpoint shot on that. I mean, it's probably going to be hard. But with the Marauder, if we can get a pinpoint shot, take that leg off. That pretty much ends his... Well, actually, you know what? Both the Rattlesnake and the Cephalus have an opportunity now to pull that guy's leg off. I could run them both in close and try and take his leg. Because then he'll lose initiative next turn and we can finish him off. Where are you going? It's almost like they're trying to go somewhere, you know? Ready for orders. Now, can you... Cephalus is in the way. I'm in the way. I think we need to reserve you until everybody else is out of the way. It's mostly us left anyway, so okay. Here we go. So I am going to vigilance this one because I want to try and get better initiative next turn to get the frig out of there. Not the best chance to hit, but we're going to move in here. On my way. Double time. Hopefully we can dart out. Damn it. This lag. I may have to move that cache file over to the internal. Internals and SSD, the one it's on right now, is a green drive, which is not really the best. Could go bolt-on rockets, or we could just... I think we're just going to fire everything and hopefully get we get a leg hit here or something, or somewhere. Leave the rockets off for a better chance to hit. Engaging. That's not bad. Looks like we panned that leg. What can I do for you? All right, Griff, you're a little out of position. That's not bad. Let's get up here. Go in turbo. We'll keep. I, normally, I don't like running with a little bit, even with like a little bit of instability. But I think we're all right. All right, same thing. We're just going to shoot this guy, uh, and I hope we get something. Now, I don't think I have got anything other than we've got inferno ammo, but I don't think he's that hot anyway. So let's just go this way. Nothing really in the leg, but. It's fine. Twenty percent damage reduction, though. I guess because he's in the trees. So. Good to go. All right, Mermy. We got some shit to do. Not the best position. Affirmative. Going to take it though. Pretty damn stealthy. So I think we should probably be fine. 
And I don't think this matters. Can I shift click this to the top? We can't. That doesn't matter, I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna do it anyway just in case. And I don't wanna use the, I don't wanna use the tandem. Okay, Narc Mystery, we did get a leg hit. Foot right, destroyed, that should You'll actually reduce his like movement. It. Should reduce his movement. Okay, Order. Mr. Mothman Prophecies. Get up here. I know we've got some flames on the way, but it's fine. It's fine. Nice chance to hit on this guy. Well, we had to clear that building anyway. They had infantry in there, so. Receiving you. Probably a good thing we did it now rather than later. Okay, get up to here. Don't really want to move the Zoria in, but we're going to do it. Because I want to get a shot at this guy. On it. Okay, a little bit more damage to the leg. Upper and lower leg destroyed. Target's taking a critical hit. So I got the Marauder to go yet, so... Hey. Um... We want to try and uh, let's get to here. All right. Can we? Can't hit the building. Take a shot at that guy, though. I don't really want to do that. I want to try and kill maybe this guy. So let's get the machine guns turned up a little bit. We're not going to kill this guy. Well, if you hit a side shot, maybe. Okay. Well, we got the building out of the way now. At least we can see the uh, the guys over there. They can see us too, but you know, such is life. Okay, let's get you into here. Going full speed. Yeah, it's a little slow in the graphics. Let me know what you guys think if you want me to change that. I actually prefer having the um, the uh, cab file on a different drive, but if you guys are finding it jarring with the movement and stuff, I'll switch it over if we can get smoother movement. Let's see if we can take his leg here. There it goes. Have a seat, buddy. I think you want to bail out at this point. You should bail out. Now the question is, Waiting do we go order. for a headshot or do we go for... I'm gonna take the thunder. Double it's only one. Let's go. Might do a couple points damage, but... Do we go for the headshot or do we go for the leg? This torso... We're pretty much guaranteed of blowing this torso up. Zero percent chance to hit that leg. Five percent. I guess because it's on the far side from where I am. That's strange. If I target the leg, I actually can't hit it. But if I target the head, I have a chance to hit it. How does that work? So 70, I don't, where am I? I know it's the angle he's lying on his back and that makes perfect sense to me. But when this leg is completely gone, I should be able to see this leg. I'm gonna try for the headshot. We're gonna go with this. Acknowledged. Spread it around. Might as well spread it out. I bet you that was a CT hit and, and then like his other torso and stuff. Because of course, uh, wait, I, I bet you I hit his other leg. i going to find out here in a second. He's going on three. He's not going to survive this turn, but still it's a bit of a piss off. I'm going to move these three guys around this side and try and get the other leg, I think. It would have been nice if we could have taken his head clean off, but 
whatever. It's fine. I shouldn't be that disappointed. We're pretty much one mech up at this point. Although we've had to use our, all our firepower to bring him down. Uh, this mutant lamb is going to be hard to hit, but I don't think it'll be hard to take down. doesn't have a lot of firepower. The fire starter should go down pretty quickly. Uh, predator, I'm not 100% sure. I know I've faced a predator before, but I can't remember. It's only got 800 armor, so it's not that bad. I just can't remember if it's hard to hit or not. Hetzer should go down pretty quick, although it does have a uh, ECM on it, looks like. Maybe it's stealth, I don't know. Could have stealth armor. Blackjack should go down pretty quick. I don't think it's got a lot of armor. 700 and something, probably. Archer's probably got like 900 armor. Wolverine's got 900 and something, so... This is really the... This guy was the threat. It's just a matter of steamrolling at this point. All right. Ordered. Not too bad. We reserved, so I, we didn't expect to get a good uh, movement. We need to get as much movement on as we can. I think we can probably get to, like... How much is that going to be, too, eh? Fuck, that's nothing. This guy has not gone yet. What are we at now? Four... I don't think we're in a dire strait where we need to worry about it. We'll just reserve this turn. I'll let the lamb go and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. We're still going before the fire starter. I mean, I guess we could try and smoke that fire starter. If we move in behind here, blocking us from these guys, we could probably shoot this guy in the back. Take him down this turn. Well, these guys go in 11, so maybe we wait. I don't know. Talos might be able to kill that fire starter in one shot. It's nice that these two buildings are still intact. That's what's going to save us from these guys back here. <clears throat> I mean, they're not going to really hit anyway, but the more we've got between them, the less the less they're actually going to have an opportunity to fire at us. It's always those one ran <laughs> It's always that random shot from random location that just hits you in the head that ruins your day. Had that happen too many times in the past. Okay, that's the stag, that's the Vulcan. Urban Knight. That was the last mech. Okay. That's a weird, uh... A weird option to be here. I'd like to be able to save all of this stuff. The HA-20, though, that'd be... that. I mean, if we get the ammo for the... I, I, don't, I don't think it uses regular... Does it use regular Goss ammo? It might. But that might be a nice option for the... Um, Orion. If we go with a ranged version as opposed to, like, closing with the enemy, we could go with that Goss rifle, or I could switch that out onto the Marauder. Yeah. When faced with an Ultra-20, when you got a pair of medium lasers, always run always run. Although, I think we might be able to hit this. Is it, are these coolant tanks? I can't remember. It'd be kind of cool if there was, like, coolant tanks and you when they blow up, if you're near them, then they uh, instantly cool off your mech down to zero. Like, even running through them, that would do the same thing, so that <laughs> when you're hot, you just run through the coolant tanks. There's the power over there. I've been watching a lot of, um, I think it's, it's TTB, No Guts, No Galaxy, a lot of MechWarrior Online stuff. Um, just for the, the loadouts they have. Now, I know that the meta is different for MechWarrior Online than it is for Rogue Tech, but just some of the, the loadouts, I'm just interested in seeing how they're specking out, if, like, different mechs. So, although i got to say, watching some of them, I think it's, is it JGX something or other? I think the guy's Italian. He does a lot of stuff too, and it's like he's showing how the game is for light max is kind of broken, where you can like run a piranha with like I don't know eight machine guns and like five micro pulse lasers or something like that, and then just run in and get close to enemies and just strip their legs off and kill them really fast. It almost to me it, it would be like I think if you're gonna nerf that in a way, 
That would make sense. Ooh, that was actually not bad hits from Reporting that guy. Heavy damage. Um, how I would do it, I would limit the number of weapons that you could possibly use. Right? So... Oof, that's actually... I don't think I can pass that up. Let's move into here. Roger. Yeah, so I would limit the uh, the volume of weapons that you could put on a mech. Because, like, having, like, you know, five micro pulse lasers and then a whole bunch of other stuff stacked on it. Uh, I'm just going to shoot this guy straight out and get as much damage as I can on him. Strip some of that armor off. Nice. How'd that taste? Head hit. I don't think it tasted very good. He's tasting, he's tasting that, uh, I don't know if you've ever had that iron taste in your mouth. When you've got pasted, like I got, when you get pasted really hard, sometimes you get that iron taste in your mouth. I'm sure he's got that right now. But yeah, I would limit the number of weapons. So like five micro pulses and eight machine guns. Cut that in half so you can have like two, two micros and, or like have up to six weapons. Forcing you to choose like six medium lasers or something. Oh my God. Six medium lasers or something along that line. Which is the reason why I wanted to make sure we wait. Let's get to here. I want to make sure we're not uh, giving that fire starter an option on us here. Ooh, we just try. So where do we hit with the goss? We hit there, there, and there. All on the opposite. I mean, whatever, fucking whatever. Why can't I hit this leg? It keeps giving me zero percentage, and I'm on the other side now. Locking on. Whatever. That's shoot from the ahead. shoot from the left side. Hit the right. Shoot from the right. Hit the left. What? The, whatever. Maybe he's lying face down. It only shows that he's not, but maybe technically he's lying face down. I wouldn't matter, would it? Be the same. Whatever. I don't know these things. That goes to Goss Rifle though, right? Oh, the Goss is on the other arm. Alright. I guess I don't want to fucking core him because that's where the XL engine is, right? I wonder if we can get him to bail. I wonder if we can get him to bail. Fuck it, we're gonna plink for his head. We might kill him, but... Come on, bail out. Oh, we got a head hit, nice. Critical hit, Commander. Bail, 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 bail. You know you want to. Damn it. Maybe I leave him and see if he falls... Well, I don't want him firing that fucking Goss rifle, though. Although it shouldn't be that great of a chance to hit because... I mean, technically he's fallen over and he's got a couple wounds now, so he should have a really hard time to sh hit anybody. So maybe we leave him and see if he stands up and falls over. Because I've had that happen a few times where the enemy kind of stands up and then falls over. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, there are fire starters going now. Let's see what he's doing before we decide what we're going to do next. Because I'm thinking I'm going to round the corner with these guys and we're going to just burn this lamb. We're just going to just murder that guy. Going to put the Ultra 20 on him, I think. Because I don't really want the lamb parts. Well, this Predator, I don't think it's gone yet, has he? Where are you? You're, ba you're backing up. Okay, you're getting in the... Uh, I see what you're doing. Ooh. That's good damage. Reporting heavy damage. Yep. Standing by. Well, Buster's still got some armor. Let's get into the trees here. 91%. I don't think we'd uh, say no to that. Although, I'm thinking we can probably try with a leg hit at 60%. There we go. 
Oh, it was the right torso. Wait, was that the torso or the and the leg? I missed. No, it was just the torso. Cause why? Why would we hit the leg? <laughs> Oof, the fuck. Some people ask, why don't I use um, called shot more? Well, that's the reason why. <laughs> If I had just shot, I bet yeah, I would have taken his fucking leg off. I find I get I get better results just by positioning myself properly and going for side torsos and stuff. I just get much better results than if I if I'm like trying to like do a called shot and just pull specific components. And whether that's just me or what that is, I don't know. It just ends up being that way. So let's just pace this guy. Um, I don't want him, so let's go with tandem and try and burn as many components off this guy Firing because we weapons. can another head hit target's taking a critical hit will he bail nope we're to blake they don't bail standing by bail out sure why not quarantine yeah see that's actually not bad at this with this mech now Uh, do I want him to engage those guys at this point, though? No, I don't. I don't think I do. If I stay true to my tactics, what we want to do is move up here. And one of these guys has to die. Probably you. That's a great chance to hit Thunderbolt 4-pack. We're just going to murder, try and murder this guy. There we go. Cored him. Gotcha. I think both lasers on the uh, Thunderbolt hit the core. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, so they're down one technically possibility for a second one. I don't like that archer. I don't want to get too close here. We said we were going to leave that guy. So I think Got it's it. the... Uh, speed, no shooting. I think it's the... Um, Firestarter's turn here. He's too close. I don't like this guy. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Now we've got incendiaries here, which I don't think... Yeah, we don't really need those. Who needs the heavy rockets at this point? How much heat is that going to add? A fair bit. But if we want to burn them... We have enough juice to do that. I think we do. Let's just try and burn this guy this turn and get him out of here. You betcha! Beautiful. Gotcha. Might have been an ammo explosion. SRMs, Commander. It's a little sluggish, eh? Good to go. That might have been an ammo explosion. Fuck. I need machine guns. What I need. We got we got guys with machine guns, so we're gonna use them. But I'm gonna move you. Fuck, I can't do that. Because then if that guy gets up and shoots me in the back. Let's go here. Right, Commander. I'm uh not sure about this. Fifty-one left. All we need is one head hit though. What was the percentage of that? Four point eight. Still zero on this leg, eh? Must be doing something weird with the math. Just need one head hit. Got it. Nope. Still not stressing though. Ready for orders. You got the machine guns. Let's get over here. This is gonna be a lot of crits. I don't really want to do this, but I don't like the fact that this guy's gonna get I mean I was okay with it at first, but I'm not okay with it now. Gyro destroyed pilot incapacitated, so I don't know if we got the, uh, if we'll get the core off that. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, that's not, uh, what I want to do. This is. We're going to drop our recoil. So I think the trick with this hover unit, or any hover unit, 
is to constantly maximize the speed. And if that means moving away from combat and coming back later, maximizing the chevrons of evasion is really what you want to be doing at all times, you know? This guy's meleeing, because of course he is. Well, at least he missed. He, that's his suicide. He's done. That was a charge attack. He's, it's over for him now. I got to, I've still got to call for a uh, checkbox and removing the melee because that's, they've just given us that guy. I should use the Ultra 20 on him just to prove a point. But if I, if I go to do that, <laughs> if I save it to the end, you'll, I'll move up to fire it and then I'll miss. Because that's how we roll. That archer is the next threat though. The blackjack, he's down in the minefield now. I mean, I think we use the our, our archer to drop some mines on him again. I don't know if he's going to move through them though. If he's got, if he's got good, oh maybe we drop them in the archer. But the archer's got really good leg armor. Um. Yeah, if we if we drop some more mines over there, I, I think he can actually see them with his optics. So maybe that's why he's jumping up and down. But he, who knows? Maybe he'll run through them. Well, we could drop him on this guy, too. But his leg armor is pretty good, too. I think he's got 60 in each leg. Yeah, those MMLs. I'm not going to cut it, buddy. If you can't melee, it's your waste of a mech. If you cannot melee, you are a waste of mech. Even in, even in melee, it's not that great, I don't think. I don't think the damage output on that thing is very great. At least it didn't seem that way. He's jumping around. As long as you continue to make yourself unstable, jumping around like that, I am happy. So the archer goes on what? Ours goes on 15, theirs goes on 18, so he's going to be going before... He actually goes now. Damn. Let's see what he does. I think that's our next target. The blackjacks... It can be dangerous with the double ultras, but I think the... The, the, um, the archer is just a little more dangerous. The pinpoint 60 damages. Okay, he's going through the minefield. Some good damage. I think we actually drop a minefield here. I think that would be worth it. Because maybe this guy... Because he's completely... Actually, he's unstable now. Oh, you decided to move in, did you? Yeah, see what I mean? That guy's dangerous. Zoria's almost done, so he's got to... Yeah, you got to get out of there. Yeah, you're out of there this turn. Don't worry. Oof, nice shot. You're just as accurate as I am. Good to go. All right. Um... Do I want to do the killing or do I want to leave that for somebody else? I think I leave that for the vehicles. How much back armor do you have? Not a lot. Actually, the Marauder could probably cap it. Well, I don't want. I want the Marauder on the Archer though. Ooh, do we still? Yeah, let's pull back like this. Coordinates received. I want those guys to look at me more so than the vehicles now. So let's pull back to here. We're gonna unload this on this guy. A right, little bit of damage. I think one of the ultras hit, and that's it. I mean, I guess, you know, we could pull the Ultra 5 off the Talos and try for another loadout on this and use double Ultra 5 on something else. You know, maybe we that's a possibility, too. Because I haven't touched the Tal Talos loadout in quite some time. Maybe we reanalyze that try and find something because this thing isn't that fast so it's really like a mid-range kind of brawler kind of mech just because its speed isn't that great so I don't know maybe something to consider anyway I don't know what we would put in there though especially the, to, to maintain like a damage output I mean we could turn it into a missile build and maybe go with the para thunderbolts because the TBM-10, I think, is only 6 tons, right? Whereas the Ultra is like 
I think I think that's a clan ultra, which might only be eight tons or seven tons. Hmm. See if we can get ahead of these guys next turn. Get to here. Yeah, it is a bit chunky, eh? I may have to reconsider where that is, where it's located. I think we need to put everything on this guy. So he's got some damage on this leg already. A little bit of arm damage. I think the handheld rack too. I think you need both arms for that to function. So if we kill one of the arms, it probably won't work. Okay, not bad. He's unstable. We should make him easier to hit. No short range missiles remaining. And we'll get definitely be getting the Gauss rifle on you. Uh, now the question we wanted to go indirect with you so let's just step back to here park it right we there for now we'll drop our instability and then we're gonna go thunder drop it right in here Target locked. Ooh. how many did it get Failed to connect. Seven from 40. So there's still a fair bit of mines down there. It's this guy right here. It's okay, we'll deal with him. I think the Marauder's going to murder that guy. Haven't decided yet. Somebody has to. Wait, has... The Griffin hasn't gone yet either. We got the Griffin, we got the Rattlesnake, SM1, the Zorius. All I think all our vehicles still have to go. We got a plenty of firepower with just the vehicles alone to kill that guy, I think. 25 landmine explosions, so not bad. Don't know how much damage he's taken. I think that was the right choice, dropping the mines in there. Oh, uh, not bad. That's what, 67? So like 30, 43 damage? Not bad. So that was like 86 damage in total. Which is kind of aight. It's aight. Flames on the way. Double time. It's okay, let's get the narc on this guy. That's what I want. We'll capitalize on that. Go with that many mediums. Mm, we'll fire the tandems as well. No, I don't think... Oh, why don't we try and target this guy's leg? Let's see what that would be. Because he is, he is drunk right now, so I mean... Oof, that's pretty damn low. Ah, let's just go for it. I think we penned the leg. I think we did? No, we didn't even hit the leg. See, that's... And we hit the far arm. Somehow we hit the far arm when we are shooting from the side. How are you doing? You're like really hot. We're about to hear. On my way. We're gonna have to drop one of the uh, mediums, I think, or the uh, larges. Yeah, that Thunderbolt four pack is like warm. Or I could drop this and just get all our heat back. Let's just do it that way. And I'm not gonna bother targeting the leg. I'm just gonna hit this guy. I'm locked on. So technically with his hand destroyed, that rack should not work anymore because you need two hands to be able to use it, but coding, I totally get it. Commander? I totally get it. Okay, so that's our... Fuck, I'm going to fuck this up. Left side. I can't have... Let's do that. And maybe we can get the hell out of there next turn. Let's get into here. Oh, we got a target. Just don't make it your own guy. 
shooting this guy in the back. Mm, well, I think I want to just strip armor. Let's go this route. Taking the shot. Zoria is good for stripping armor. Right here. A shot in the back? What? Okay. Wait, what? I gotta move farther than that? <laughs> this thing is too fast. <laughs> ah! Oh, I, can, I have to go right up his ass. Shit. Hold on. I live to serve. Let's get another shot in on this guy then. Let's get you first. Onward. I should probably shoot the archer, but I want to kill this guy. Just to prove a point. He's got to go away. Yes, Commander. It's weird. I gotta be like right up his ass. That's fine. If we land one of the Ultra 20s, it's totally worth it. Just put one up his ass. Shoot the bum. <laughs> 84. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so worth it. Thank you for your sacrifice. I hear ya. I wonder if he sprayed gold on his mouth before he before he decided to move forward and attack. Got it. Those of you who've seen Mad Max will appreciate that. Uh, let's go after this guy. Um, how are we doing for heat? We're fine. Fire on fire everything. Goes one whole side. That's Another the knockdown. Like that. So that should be two wounds. Apparently it's only one wound. Probably resisted one. That's fine. Good to go. That's fine. You may resist all you wish. On the move. But you not, shall not survive the onslaught that is us. Mm, 72%. Yeah, see, something's wrong with the coating. All right, whatever. Hostile Core kill. Fine. He's gone. That's all that matters. Blackjack. Is that it? Turn 30. Two of them go on 30, huh? Jesus. Jesus. Guess they spent a bit of resolve last turn. The Vulcan and... Yeah, because it's good to spend resolve on these guys so they can actually get up and do something. That Wolverine has been, like, observing the battle the whole time. Yep, thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for bringing us salvage. Much appreciated. His AMS Mark II is unjammed. That would be a nice grab, the AMS Mark II. Oof, nice shot. That's the Vulcan. Light damage, Commander. AC2 for the win, baby. Does he, can he actually move after he shoots though? Looks like he can. Ace pilot, baby. Ace pilot, there you go. I like how they moved that into the, um, into the components now. So it's either part of the mech or it's part of like, like a, uh, um, fire control system or something like that. I I, I really like how they they've done that. That's uh, I thought that was that was that was good because that fire maneuver was like really really powerful. Right, move up, crest the hill, fire people, and then if as long as you have really good initiative, fire again and walk away, and they can't shoot back at you. So they get one shot at you, and you get two at them. Order. Little powerful, but with the way it's implemented now, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Not too powerful at all. All right, let's get you down here. You we are going to make... Oh, wait, you're up there. Shoot, I thought we were down. No biggie. We just got to back up so they can't shoot at us. We want them to focus on these guys now, and then we'll dart back in and claim somebody. 
Probably this guy. He's pretty damn hot too, eh? I wonder if I should give him an Archer Inferno round. Or I think we drop... I don't know, these guys are jumping around pretty good back here, so maybe we don't. Where are you going? Don't make me fucking chase you. I swear, honestly guys, if that guy takes off and he's the last one left, I'm not going to let you. I won't force you to watch that, I'll just destroy him and then we'll leave. I'll just do it off camera because that's just annoying. I'm okay with it if, they, if they're allowed to leave the map board and take off. Like if he retreats and leaves the map board and is gone, I'm cool with that, right? It's like they panic so much we can't do any more. We're, we're out of here and they leave. Fine with that, but the but running around the map, constantly fleeing is like annoying as shit. Especially when the game is moving this slow as it is for me. So. Yep. Vehicles are doing their job though. Like, I mean, if you, if you think about it, they've been firing at the vehicles more than they've been shooting at the mechs. So the vehicles have been doing their job. Okay, where are you located? You're up on a platform, not on the building. So let's get over here. Confirm. I'm not too worried about this uh, urban urban knight. I've got the uh, AMS that should take care of him mostly. So I gotta just shoot this guy to make him unstable. So let's do that. Did we get the knockdown. We did not. We got Sturm coming up. So I'm ready for orders. Um. Damn it, we're in trees, so it's like finding a place to hide is going to be difficult here. Let's get over here. Yeah, the uh, the harbor units just do so terribly in the. Uh, this should knock this guy down. Um, in the trees, I don't think the, I think the Zoria's tracked, but ooh, the AMS got all of them. Good job, buddy. Waiting for orders. Don't like that. Got it. Let's do this instead. Position for the next attack. Now. Yeah. Move into position. Let's pull the leg off that uh, drunk ass over here. Or at least try to. We should be able to hit that leg. Oh, it only has five left. Oh, do I want to go... I don't think I want to do too much on him because I don't want to blow the torso off him. Confirm. There we go. We got the sensors. That hit something. Got the knockdown. That two of four, held two of three. Standing by. Let's give this guy. Here, a pasting. And let's try and guarantee that he can't shoot next turn. Ooh, Artemis. Now, let's go this route. Let's just heat him up. Does he have anything we want? Enhanced ERPPC. That might be nice. So let's heat him up. Screw his sensors up. Crack his, crank his heat up. Maybe we can get him to bail. What can I do for you? Uh, you can add to that heat tally if you don't mind. Let's get you up here. And I'm going to leave off the pulses. And go with some Inferno. Just leave the shotgun on. Got it. Get a bit more damage. Try and panic him a little bit if we can. And we blew our cover for our guys back here. Oops. That's my bad. Hmm. 
You got a lot of damage on the front. Well, down to 53. It's not too, too bad. Good thing it's turreted. What's our back like? 91? Do that. Location confirmed. And we'll shoot this guy here. HE, yep, large, yep, throw everything on him. Affirmative. Okay, destroying Report components. Critical hit. I'm ready. Are ya? Oops, let's not shoot through our own guy. Let's get up here. Uh left yeah, that left side. On the way. Try for the knockdown. Or not knockdown, but the uh, giving them the instability. Locking in all weapon systems. That should do it, which will open them up for right here. you. Get into there. Yeah, we'll leave the ultra on. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. No. It's almost like it's all or nothing with that thing. See, the two hits or nothing. But I know that's not true. I've seen it with with one hit, but it just feels that way. Systems holding. Systems holding. All right, Steve. I really should call that guy Steve. All right. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. Vulcan attempting to do a little bit of work. It would be interesting if the, if they should have a game mode that forces you to just use stock mechs. That would be interesting to see what you could do, how long the battles would take. It would just feel more realistic. I know it, I know most of the fun of Battletech is actually being able to outfit your own mechs and coming up with cool designs and and taking the rules to the extreme to see what kind of mech you can put together. I think that's that's a really cool thing, but actually having to play with stock mechs because when we first started Battletech, we we weren't we we never thought that we could like redesign the mechs, so it was always the stock mechs against stock mechs. The battles took forever, but it was always fun, right? But then it was like when you could design your own mechs, it's like, why would you put an SRM-2 in when you could put, like, a medium laser and do more damage and, and it lasts longer and, you know, because the heat was like nothing really, right? So it was, I don't know, it was just interesting. Yeah, that guy's done. Still gonna fire, is he? I guess he's got to do something. He's on fire too, which is not helping him. All right, we're gonna heat him up again next turn. Hopefully he bails out. I'd like to get that enhanced PPC, but if we have to blow him up for it, or blow him up and lose it, I'm okay with that too. I think we've got, we're only getting two pieces of salvage, so getting the Stormcrow parts. Oh yes, by the way, you know, and it's been mentioned multiple times in the uh, comments section, and I apologize that yes, I can check what mech components I have. I just keep forgetting to do it. I'm going to try and remember to do that. Because if we have Stormcrow parts and we can put one together, I'll probably take the parts as opposed to taking components. Because we're only getting a couple things out of this, right? So, wow, like we're wide open now. That's fine. It just means we can see them better now. 20. Who's going on 20? Hetzer. Let's see where he goes. Man, they're fast. He's still going. Receiving you. Okay, who are we doing now? That guy's going to get overheated. I don't ha really have anything for that. The blackjack, man. I want components, but I don't. I. I don't know for sure if. this like targeting the leg is an issue because it's still coming up zero percent
I mean, we could try just for the headshot. See what happens. Maybe he'll bail. This is the only threat in the board right now. The Wolverine, if it gets in close to melee, it could be a problem, but... And we can't get... We've already lost an Ultra 5 anyway out this guy, so let's just fire this up. Goes to the right side. Oh, he's gone. Right. XL. XL engine. XL engine for the loss. And same thing. Combat shotgun, inferno ammo. Oof. Good to go. He's hot stuff. Who's up? Who wants some next? Probably the Wolverine. Although he's got a pretty good uh, chance to avoid it here. Let's get up here. Affirmative. What's the Vulcan like? Oh, we're better on the Wolverine anyway. Uh, we dropped our heat. Let's go with everything. Hopefully we get the narc on this guy. Nope. Alright, a little bit of tandem. One medium laser. I was hoping for more. I was hoping for more. I know we're bunching up with this, but it's fine. It's fine. We're both stealthy boys. We both got good evasion. We should be fine. Right? What could go wrong? Okay, tag's on. It's nice. Commander. Alright, kill joy. Let's um Affirmative. Let's give it to him. I think I moved too close. Damn it. Did I? I did. Um engaging target. Still got plenty of hits though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Reporting critical hit. Only eleven heat, but damn. Yeah. That yeah, it's probably a smart move. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Oh, what's up, boss? You just hang up back here. Let's get I'm that uh, urban knight to uh, burn through his AMS ammo. What do you say? You can sit there from now. We're just gonna blink this guy. Come on. Got it. What the fuck? Flatten that one. Yeah, sure. Just, just kill your, your. <laughs> Whatever. Receiving you. Damn me and my misclicks. The laggy misclicks are annoying, but it is what it is. Wolverine, give me a good shot. The Wolverine side shot. No solid line, though, eh? Not gonna find a solid line anywhere, so let's just walk it up. One thing, one wonderful thing about this is I don't have to get close, so if I just walk, it's still fine. Better chance to hit if I walk. Yeah, we're gonna go with everything. Just gonna fire on this guy. Hopefully we get something here. This with the Goss, both lasers hit, though. I don't. Maybe there was a one shot. I can't. Or the. Uh, are out. Yeah, the thunderbolt might have hit. I don't know. Let me know what you think of the, down in the comments for that guy's loadout. I think it's all right. I mean, is it the best? No, but is it functional? Yes. Let's get into here. I think Copy we're gonna that. take on that Vulcan with this guy. As long as we keep our front turned away from him, we should be okay. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, better. Instability. Taking the shot. Okay, so now that should be, yeah, you're unstable. Standing by. Ultra 20 to the face? Sure. Why not? We'll see. It's going to be a bad chance to hit, though, I think. We fired two, two, two turns in a row here. This is the third turn. 50% is not bad, but Recall is killing us at this point. Actually, what's it like on the Urban Knight? Yeah, it's garbage. That thing's got, like, ECM up to wazoo anyway, so... Fuck, we missed. 
All right. I mean, we hit. We were, they had their command post in that building. Yes, Commander. So it was a resounding success, I'm just saying. Let's not get too close with the AC-5s. Knowledge. Close enough to get good chances to hit, though. Got it, Commander. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Not a knockdown. Is that it? Don't we have the, uh... Oh, shoot. We already... Sh okay, never mind. Right. I thought we hadn't moved the joust yet, but we did. Urban Knight's, like, moving down that. It's not going to save you, buddy. It's just not going to save you. It's nice that the Marauder... I think, you know, the Marauder and Archer kind of complement this loadout, because we can move in with the vehicles and the faster mechs and attack and do some damage and stuff. And then when we take a bit of damage, we can pull back and then the two heavier mechs can move forward and, like, dish out some damage. This fucking Vulcan. Thanks for showing up, buddy. I don't think valuable about you is your speed. I'll deal you a death blow here in a second. I think my Thunderbolt won't fi Well, it'll fire at that close range, but a good chance it'll miss. Shoot, the uh, her Griffin's got no cover anymore. Who's going? 28? Who's the... Oh. Mobile HQ and the Hetzer, which is fucking somewhere back here. He's going on 20. Good thing we got long-range weapons and there's no building standing anymore. Maybe we get a chance to shoot him from across the map board. I don't know. Come on, HQ. Do what you're going to do. Fuck. Really? Jesus Christ. Yes, Commander. We gotta chase these vehicles down. I'm gonna be in this friggin' match forever. We're gonna be in this match forever! Alright. Is he unstable? He's tagged. I mean, I guess I could shoot some mines back there, but these guys have got so much armor that it's not really gonna affect them. Although, it might this guy. When do we get lucky and hit that guy? Oh, I wonder if we could target this. I wonder if an explosion would do damage to this guy. Hmm. Thank you for showing up. Awaiting orders. Hmm. Yeah, I think Moving we're gonna out. drop the thunder back there. If we can get the mobile HQ with the thunder, let's do it. We'll save a turn. Yeah, that'll be a full loadout. So they're both back here. Let's aim for the Hetzer. How are you doing? You still got like all your armor. Affirmative. But the missiles are probably loaded front. I don't think we got the uh out of yeah. LRMs. Fifty hit points. Uh good question though. That that blows up. Does that mean... The mines are cleared? That's a good question. I don't know. Don't miss. A thunderbolt. Don't miss with the thunderbolt. Reporting critical hit. Cause I think I gotta try and target that, uh... What can I do for you? Let's get you moving a little faster. I think I'm going to try and target that, um, that uh, uh, transformer to see if I can ex 
blow it up on the guy and see if we can do some really good damage to the Hetzer there. I don't want this guy. Uh -huh. See ya. Should have run when you had the chance. He should have. He should have been doing what he was doing, shooting from the buildings with the AC2. But I guess at this point in the match, there's just not much he can do. All his firepower is gone. I should probably take some time and analyze what I would do with the uh, if I had their forces versus mine. That's an interesting. It would have been an interesting fight, I think. Stormcrow is your the Stormcrow, the the Moon and Lamb, and the Preda, and not the Archer, but the Blackjack. Oh, not not even the Blackjack. I mean, you've got they had like three or four guys that they could probably work with the Hetzer and the Mobile HQ. Yes, Commander. Kind of up front. Now, we should be able to move... Ah, uh, did the Hetzer move away? He kind of did. But you know what? On my way. If we can't shoot that, we're going to shoot the uh, Urban Knight. Can we shoot this? We can. Let's use the sensors back there, too, in case we get the uh, command. Did we get... I don't think we did any damage to these guys. Flatten that one. Yeah, it's, you have to be really close to it, I think, to do a lot of damage to anybody. Receiving you. Ah, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Can we get a back shot on that guy? We can. Make sure our back is facing Sorry. the hill. No shooting. Just run. Are we narked? Tagged or narked or something? May work. We may very well be. Let's go standard. He's probably going to shoot him down anyway, but we'll see. Oh, he's got that rocket packs. I thought he had MMLs. Maybe that was. You know what? Yes, it could very well have been me that outfitted him with one of, one of them with oh an MML, my. a pair of MMLs. I think that's what I did with one of my playthroughs. That's why I'm thinking they had MMLs. Yeah, we're jammed, but we'll fire the machine guns. Oh, well, one point damage. Orders. One point is one point. There we go. Couple of AC5s on this guy. I know there's less terrain. This is actually moving quite well. Looks like we did hit. Standing by. Yeah, let's get uh, here. Move into position. And this time, let's not misclick. Get this guy to use up some more AMS. Oh, he's got a laser AMS too. His Mark II's out of ammo, though. That's a lot of AMS. Commander. Let's get you down here. Got it. I'm gonna drop your uh, instability this turn too. I don't know the set. I'm wary about the Cephalus going after that Hatcher because if those are, I think it's three LRM10s he's got. If he's got dead fire ammo, it could be a bad time. So I want to make sure we have at least two mechs up there. Because the guy's got a lot of armor, right? So peeling it off is going to be tough. I mean, I think it lost a little bit of armor going through the minefield. A little bit. That guy might die going through the minefield. I doubt it, but you never know. Really need that Mark II AMS for this team somewhere in there. Are you coming back? You are. Are you? You are. Nice. We'll be able to kill you. He's almost done anyway. Commander. That should be it for him this turn. Let's not. Uh, 
do that way. There we go. Going around the minefields. Good thing this thing is so fast that even walking is like sprinting distance for most mechs. That should finish this guy off. All we have to do is hit with one on the side here. Copy that. Oh my god! Anything but the tag. I mean, like, not the tag, but any weapon. All we have to do is hit the side. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Why does it have to do that? Like, I say something and then it's like, Oh yeah, you think so? Here, let me prove you wrong. This is why you're wrong. Oh, you want to play, do you? You want to play the game? We can play the game. I hear you. What do you say, Griff? Should we play the game with this guy? Don't care about this guy either. We know what parts we want, so... Let's take some of these off the table. We only got two standard rounds left, so I guess we're going with Inferno. You betcha. Doesn't really make a difference. At least it does a bit of damage. Oh, well, actually did a fair bit of difference. He's toasty. Those SRMs, man. Plus 28 heat, that's not bad. Didn't expect it to do that much. I guess I'm so used to the LRMs not doing a lot of, uh... Like, not a lot of heat damage. We're gonna take the opportunity to murder this guy. While we can. We get the best chance to hit. We'll take it. Urban Knight's not really a threat at the moment. He's down below and he's not doing anything, so... How are we doing for ammo? We've got plenty of ammo. See ya! Stole the kill from the archer. Target neutralized. AC ammo and SRM ammo went off. Standing by. Okay, now you're too close. Well, Copy we're gonna that. move there. Gonna switch to Artemis anyway, so it's not that bad. Combat shotgun on, PPCs on, LRMs on with Artemis. Not the best, but Firing still. Okay, one of the PPCs hit. Good to go. All right, Mermy, let's um get you walking. Um, what? Shift click. Shift click. Like that. On my way. Get around this minefield. All right. Now. Yeah, Commander. I doubt we'll get lucky, but you never know. You never know. I think it's the wrong side, though. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Standing by. All right, Sturm, let's get this guy from the same side if we can. Garbage chance to hit, but we're going to drop some sensors on him. Hopefully help out a little bit next turn. Not much, but you never know. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe we can pull this leg off here. Who's up? Waiting for orders. Lethal? I don't think we can get a uh oh wait. We can. On my way. Double time. Get a side shot on him. Standard ammo. Should we switch to HE? 40%? Now let's stick with the 54. Better chance to hit. Okay, there goes the leg. Nice. I think I hit something good. AMS Mark II destroyed. Damn. Oh well. Crits from those machine guns, Stand I guess. By. Well. Fuck you. <laughs> Here we go. Critical hit, Commander. Is he gonna bail out? No, why would he bail out? Standing by. Apparently I can't see him from there. Somehow. 
I guess I guess I don't have the uh, negative depression for the guns. Somehow I have I have my negative depression over here, but not there. Fine. Move order received. Twenty-eight percent. There we go. Enemy battle mech down. All right, just these two vehicles left. If it's super boring, I won't make you sit through it. If it, like, yeah, I'm not gonna make you sit through this. These two, because it's just gonna be. I'll probably just cut to the kills whenever you, whenever the kills happen, and then uh, we'll go from there. Well, the HQ backed up this turn, drove over the mines, and blew himself up. So there's down to one now. Commander. Well, it looks like the Hesers decided to return to battle a what little can I bit. Do for you? Like. Not that much, but it's back a little bit. At least we got some direct line of sight now. I don't have the range with most of my guys, but um, Go I did mode. take a couple pot shots at him. It just like he reached kind of the edge of the map board and turned around. Yeah, so here's the uh, Marauder's chance to hit at the range. I think this guy is kind of quasi stealthy, but we still got some pretty good chances to hit. I'm actually I'm impressed with the uh, the new loadout in this now. Ooh, yeah. Good hits. Confirm. Alright, well, Granite was able to move into a position here to take a shot at this guy. Hopefully we can end him. That Gauss rifle and the laser hits the last turn did a good job, but... Alright, structure exposed. We should be able to finish him off. Actually, Taser Face. Should be able to do it here, I think. Let's get into there. I dialed back how much I shot last turn. Just because we were warm, but I think I'm going to fire everything here. Yeah, all we have to do is connect, I think, with something. Other than the tag. Oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> Why don't- don't- just don't open your mouth. Just that's the key, just don't- don't say anything. Archer. Direct fire. Alright, I think we got some, uh... Artemis left. That should do it, I think. We'll see. Yeah, I'll do it. Finally, there we go. So it wasn't so bad, but... Enemy down. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, there it is. 760,000. Another 100 grand we made. Takes two points lost in flare-up, so not too bad. 180, wait, 180,000 bonus, two additional salvage. Does that get added on to what we get? It'd be interesting to see because we had two nines selected, I think, right? Pretty sure we had two nines selected. We didn't take any significant damage this battle, which was good. I think our positioning played a key role and the storm crew decided not to fire. That That's... You know, that that guy could have seriously wrecked somebody. So, now there should be a... Um, storage. Here we go. So I can see what I have in storage. Ah, yes. Thank you, people, for constantly reminding me to do this. Because this is the first time I've done it. So, cool. Now I can see what we have and what we... What do we got? What do we need? You know? Um, I'm not... Regardless, I'm not taking a blackjack Omni. I freaking hate blackjacks. Uh, it's just a personal thing. It it would figure though I would buy the BattleTech game and then it was like, ah, oh, figure <laughs> we could put together. Oh, that's the blackjack. That is what we have. Shit, I could take it for components. I would rather to see. I don't think we have any Stormcrow parts though. I don't think we do. Fifty-five tons, right? Yeah, I think there's only one part in the ground though. Probably only one part on the ground. No, there's like one, two, three, four. So we get two additional salvage. It said, so we'll see if we get 11 here. Ah, do I just take the um, the Omni and hopefully we get components off it? There's the enhanced PPC though. Enhanced P ER PPC clan. So what's enhanced about it? 840 meters. Recoil of one. 
How is that? Doesn't it? Oh, I guess the, it's enhanced with clan tech, which is why it does an extra five damage for additional heat. So that's not what I thought it was. This isn't a clan ERPPC 75 damage. It's I think it's 55 heat and six tons with two slots, I think, not three. Well, there's the Gauss rifle. Hyper assault. And is there ammo down here? There's the HE ammo we wanted so badly. But I think with this roll, that's a bad... Uh, Hyper Gauss ammo, three tons. Vehicular DNI. Don't think we need that. I mean, it's nice, but... Everyone would just say, take it. But with me turning things on and off, it's like, it's just not... It's not a recipe for success with me. <laughs> it just isn't. As much as I like to think it would be, it's just not a recipe for success for me. It would just mean disaster. Um, XL, we don't want the coin. Clan Endo, fuck, we need Endo Steel. But I think I would be dumb if I didn't take the two Omni Blackjack parts and we put it together and see what we can get off it. I think that would be a... As much as I want the... Uh, HE ammo. Stumdo PPC would be nice too. 60 damage for 30 heat, 780 meters. Damn it, this thing's good too. MRM 30, but we don't have any MRM ammo, that's the problem. Yeah. And we're having incendiary ammo down here. There's a lot, like a lot of enough stuff, enough, a lot of nice stuff I'd like to get off in the draw. But if we grab the Omni Blackjack Omni, there's the chance to get the ultras in the arms, right? And ammo. But what else? I'm not going to use it. I'm just not. I'd sell it from... I mean, we could make some half-decent coin off it by selling it, but not a lot of coin. Probably like 150000 or something if we put it together. Oh, God, there's like four armored mobile HQ parts. We don't have any Omni Archer parts. I think you need the Omni Archer. Wait, is this an Omni or is it just a variant? Because it doesn't say it's an Omni. Whereas this one does, doesn't it? But it doesn't isn't that what the O stands for? Blackjack Omni, it just this just says. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I don't know. I've been out of the game for a while. Maybe we just take. The, I don't know. How often are we going to see Storm Crows? The parts would be super nice. Um. This would be super nice. I mean, it's only ten tons too, right? 960 meters. Like, maybe this is a, um... Maybe we replace the Gauss rifle on the Marauder with this. It would add a little extra weight. Which means we could add a, maybe some heat sinks or something? Or maybe it goes on the Orion. Let's go this route. Uh, I know I'm stupid for not taking the Omni, but... How often do we see this? Right? How often are we going to find this? And it's actually not a bad... I'd be, I, I'm interested to see how well this works. 10 times 5, t 10 times 5 times 2. 100 damage. The 
does clustering plus two accuracy against what? What's its preferred target? VTOLs. Hmm. Okay, let's go this route. We got two archer parts and a storm crow part. Not bad. An ECM, a 140 car, which we can just go up and sell. Standard fire control system SLDF. We don't need 10 ton mace. Was what was this on? Was this on the uh, Wolverine? It may very well have been. Quick sell thunder ammo. Yeah, I'm not keeping the thunder ammo. Although we're gonna get ultra auto auto cannon five ammo, which is great because now we have enough to put a uh, two ultra fives into the um, Orion if we want, or an Orion, or we can go hyper Goss and a, and a double ultra, or single ultra five. That's interesting too. All right, cool, not bad. All right, fifty-seven thousand. That's uh, a lot more than I thought. It's a lot more than I thought. Uh, I know the Marauder took some damage, but what else took damage? Archer took a bit. Rattlesnake, Griffin. Okay. Talos. So, we got three days before the next mission. So let's bring the Archer down. Um, so that's two. This Orion's back in two. Let's actually do this. Um, so we get back our mechs. So the archer and the talos will be down for the next battle, which is fine. We've got the Holopolis still, the Wolverine, plenty of mechs to pilot. Um, yeah, we need to minimize damage in the next battle then. So this way we'll get back three max plus the Orion will be finished, which means we can start outfitting him at some point. Um, oh yeah, we got structural reinforcement finishing too. I, I got a few upgrades to the Argo done too, I think, on the way here. What did I do? On, yeah, we're getting the structural uh, integrity up because I think we need that for the last habitat pod, which is what I, I think I want to work on next. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to work on next. And somebody had mentioned too that, that when your training when your training modules go up, um, yeah, affinity 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 decays to maximum of ten or minimum of ten points. So your affinity doesn't decay as much when these go up. Yeah. So this one at forty would mean that if you're not piloting a, a mech for quite a while, your affinities would still stay at forty as long as you had gained forty to that point. Which is good. That way, if you switch back to a different mech, you can uh, you you don't you don't have to worry about your affinities decaying, which is great. So um, that being said, let's just do a quick um, look in the navigation here. Interested to see what we're sitting at now. So 19 and 13. So we sacrificed two points for ours and two points for them. We were still able to pull this off the last time, so. We'll see what happens. We're going to keep going. We've got a contract every three days. As long as we keep taking the contracts and keep winning, we should be just fine. Our pilots will all be back in the three days. We should have plenty of mechs back in the three days. And we'll go from there. I'm going to end this episode here. Guys, I was sorry it was so long and so clunky, but uh, we're just going to get back into things. Yes, I'm going to be getting back into the, um, the Duelist and the Royals series as well. I'll probably do a few episodes of these first, and then I'll switch over to those guys. Um, they may not come every day, but I'm going to de definitely uh, try to get back into it. I know my next week is like super, super busy at work. Um, they keep telling me, we got to hire someone just like you. And they've been telling me that for 20 years. It's like, yeah, well, fucking hire somebody then, for fuck's sakes. Uh, anyway, um, 
So, uh, that being said, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.